People are more and more posting short status updates to digital back channels like Twitter, sharing live impressions during large-scale events. The common interface for following these conversations are text-based lists of tweets. These lists make it virtually impossible to follow conversations and get a general overview of what the back channel is about. With Visual Back Channel, we introduce a new type of interface for following online conversations around large-scale events. The interface provides multiple interactive visualizations that represent important facets of digital back channels such as topics, participants, and photos. Topic streams visualize the evolution of topics over time. The more active a topic is, the larger the stream appears. Newest topics are displayed on the top. Participants are displayed in the people spiral. More active participants are shown on the outside of the spiral with larger circles. The ratio of original and quoted posts is represented by the saturation of the circles and labels. Individual back-channel posts are displayed in a conventional list in reverse chronological order. Shared photos are arranged in an image cloud, which is a lightweight view inspired by tag clouds. Photos that have been posted more often appear larger in the view. And at the top right you find currently selected filters and the text box for search. These different interface components can be used together to explore the conversation around a particular event. For example here I have an event called Parking Day. I can view the most salient themes in the topic streams. So if we have Park, Out, Today, Photos. I can zoom into the topic streams using these buttons on the top or using the scroll wheel of my mouse. So now I have a smaller time window. And notice how each change of the temporal window also changes the other views of the interface. So the participants, posts and photos always correspond to the current temporal window. And I can also zoom out again to get a temporal overview by just doing the reverse scrolling operation. By clicking and dragging the background of the topic streams I can pan left into the past and right further to the present. Besides adjusting the time window, topic streams also enable topical filtering by simply clicking on a stream or label. Assuming I was interested in the park topic, I can simply click on it and all views including the topic streams will now only represent the posts that are about parks. Notice also how there is now an orange colored button on the top right. By clicking this button I can revoke the filter again. Another way to filter is to select a participant in the people spiral. By selecting a participant, only the tweets by this person are represented in the interface. This way one can quickly see what a given participant has been generally tweeting about. Furthermore, I can also hide all retweets in order to focus on original content. Another way of filtering the visual back channel is using the text search. For example, I could search for party and see all the corresponding photos, posts and people. The visual back channel interface is designed to represent ongoing back channel communication. Here we have tweets about the Football World Cup 2010. Elements representing current activity are highlighted with yellow backgrounds. These yellow highlights fade out after about 5 seconds. By zooming into a smaller time window, one can get a close-up view of current activity. As the time window is now about 2 minutes, the topic streams and the other views are changing to a larger degree. Zooming out again reduces visual activity in the interface. I can also apply topical filters to focus my attention to a subset of the back-channel conversation.